Good evening, Patreon. Welcome to the new and approved office. Here, let me close this so you can... Uh, so, we have the bookshelf, which didn't move. We have where my desk was, and, of course, my ham radio stuff. So, what was where I'm facing now was a old Alesis... Uh, X2 analog mixing console, uh, studio console. Uh, haven't used it in a long time. Oh, come here, Sadie. Come here. Yeah. You want to be on the video, Miss Sadie? Our very, very paranoid. Um, oh, let's see if I can. Ooh. Sadie. There she is. There's Miss Sadie. Yes, you're full of elect static electricity. She keeps getting shocked every time I pet her, so she's like ducking. Nope, she has become very alert. She will bark when something is not right. Someone's coming to the house. So, need that a little better. There we go. So, I wanted to talk about just what's going on um had a really interesting conversation with my crew yesterday and i also was talking with some other people um it was funny how it all started i get a video of the french federal reserve whatever they call it where they print their money up in flames <laughs> My comment was, that's one way to stop inflation. <laughs> Burn down the place that prints the money. Um, but I had sent them the video that I had posted earlier for you guys from Liz Lynette Zan, I believe was her last name. And I'm just looking at my text messages here. Oh, man. We went back and forth and back and forth. And... Um, just, I mean, financially, what's going on? It's like, um, we're going to get to the point where a barrel of wheat is going to cost an ounce of gold. Um, so, if you have food to sell, you can get yourself some precious metals. And one of the guys was like, well... Who's going to take silver? And I'm like, well, do you know what? I just so happen to have it sitting here. That's a coin. That's just a regular one ounce coin. Looks like a half dollar. Let's see if I can crack this open. So, yeah, it's a beautiful coin. This is one of the coins my father gave me. Uh, it's got the buffalo on one side and the Indian head on the other. Liberty, Liberty coin. But do you know what? Someday, silver is actually. Yeah, I got a computer right in front of me. What is the? Uh, um, what is what is the? No, that's not the one I want. I want. Um, Oh, Ooh. Do, 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 do. yeah, we'll go here. Go silver. So silver's up to twenty three ninety eight as of the close of today. Gold is at eighteen ninety nine and sixty cents. I'll give them forty cents to make it nineteen hundred dollars. <laughs> So, even go though cash is king right now, I believe wealth is going to be in the gold and you're going to live off of silver. Um, you're going to, I mean, you're going to look at buying things with coins that you, you have. Um, I mean, I've got some other... 
These are Canadian coins, but these are... Hear that? That's silver. Back when I had my store and I was counting the change. That one's not... That one is... No. <laughs> That's what a quarter would sound like. A regular quarter. I hope you guys can hear that. It's got a ting to it. And... Uh, these Canadian quarters, of course, were not even 90 miles from the Canadian border, so we occasionally would get Canadian money passed off to us. Um, their quarter is about pretty much the same size as our quarter. Um, but yeah, I would collect these as they would come in and be like, well, I'm the owner. <laughs> I get to count the money. So, but... Things with value are going to be things that have precious metals or metals in it. Um, can't really go wrong with that. So this right here being worth about 25 bucks, rounding up a little, that right there would buy me a tank of gas or half a tank of gas, <laughs> depending on what gas prices you're going to go to. So... So yeah, it's it, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, having food, um, one of the things that I see as an asset for me is if our potato head in office does get a war started and threatens or puts sanctions on Russia. And Russia's like, you know what? Hey, let's try our hacking skills out. Let's turn the lights off. And having solar power, I can give people water. Middle of the sunny day, especially in the summertime, if I have a sunny sky, I can run that pump all day long. And uh, give people fresh, clean water could do it for could do it for it's like you got a silver quarter I forget what year it is you guys can correct me if I'm wrong I want to say it was I want to say 64 there was still silver some silver in American coins um, I'd have to dig in and because I've got a handful of older American coins that still have silver in it but obviously the older coins are going to be more valuable because the more silver content so figure out what resources you have because there's bartering to be done and bartering or a uh, what, what do you want to say a, a business to be had whether it's uh, giving someone a loaf of bread or selling them a loaf of bread, giving them a gallon of water, a couple gallons of water. I mean, right now I've got a, a neighbor that um, loans me his tractor. He'll come get to 100 gallons at a time. Uh, of course, it's his retirement property and has yet to drill a well. So he just comes over. He's got a... Uh, I think it's a 110 gallon tank that he put on a trailer. He drags it over with his four wheeler, fills it up. I told him, I mean, the only criteria I ask is uh, do it between 11 and 2, which is uh, um, sunniest part of the day. So that way it doesn't cost me any electricity. And so he does. And so, yeah, a little bartering there. So I give him fresh water um, that he uses for. Everything from spraying his uh, herbicides and all that other fun stuff that we... I'm glad he's a mile away, <laughs> but uh, he's got orchards and stuff like that. So, um, to he uses it for cleaning up, and um, I don't think he uses it for drinking, but I could be wrong. He could have a water filter there. Um, not that our water's bad, but that tank could have stuff in it so 
just something to think about. Um, what will you guys do to pay the bills, so say, if the power does go off? My recommendation is if you do have a large sum of money in the bank and you can justify pulling money out, um, I was raised by a father that never trusted a bank. He actually used credit unions instead, but even then, he only had enough money in the bank to pay the bills. So, I've been that way too. So, just enough to pay the bills and the rest goes into uh, a can, can berry to can to eat out of, can to pay for the miscellaneous stuff that you gotta get. So, uh, one last thing I want to suggest is is get in the habit of not having to go to the store every other day. Do it once a week if you can do it. Get yourself so you're doing it twice a week. Um, if you really get good every three weeks or at once a month, because if you can if you can set yourself up so you're only going to the store once a month you're getting in the habit of being able to have a storehouse to eat from. So days are getting interesting. Um, of course, everybody's talking about Canada. Um, my big question is Canada here to the north of me. What's going on down here in the south? What's going on in the west and what's going on in the east? Um, why, why is the distraction Canada right now? What else is going on in the world? It's a good question to ask. So get yourself right with the most high, put your stores away, food, uh, burnability, wealth, water heat we're in the middle of winter we have a winter storm warning or what is it i forget what they call it it's like everybody's freaking out oh we have a oh yeah it is a winter storm warning we're in northern michigan it says oh we could get three to five inches of snow locally higher amounts with winds we're not getting the winds and i'm like do you know what three to five inches in northern Michigan is? It's called a nuisance because I'm going to have to go clear the driveway so I can leave the house at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow to go to a men's breakfast to enjoy some good food and fellowship with men. So, <laughs> alrighty. So, yes, get yourself right with the most high. Work on your stores. Work on your preservation of your family um, work on your relationships with your family and your friends um, times are gonna get hard people are gonna get really uh, ornery and uh, you gotta have a positive attitude so till next time I'll see you then bye